Chapter 14, Accounting for Sales and Cash Receipts. It's going to be our, our first chapter this term, okay, which is second term. We're going to start with this chapter. And this chapter has uh, three sections in it. Now, accounting, the first section is going to be about accounting uh, for merchandising business. Now, remember, term one, we were doing accounting for a sole proprietorship business. Now, we are doing a merchandising business. Uh, just to give you an idea, merchandising business is a business that buys and sells. Okay, it does not manufacture; it's only buys. You know, it's like a grocery store or like let's say a Safeway or whatever. So they do buy items and they sell it. So that's a merchandising business. Okay, so we're going to be analyzing the sales transactions here, and we're going to analyze the cash receipt transaction. Remember, we are uh, are we are selling items, so we either being paid for it now at the moment or we're going to be paid later so when we say sales transactions we, we actually mean account receivable so we're expecting money later on cash receipts as we we sell it cash directly on, on the spots for example okay so uh the transactions here they have i'm going to talk about the keywords here we're going to be talking about something called a retailer a wholesaler i'm sure you guys are probably familiar with those names but you know we'll go through them anyway uh, retailers, uh, wholesalers, and then we're going to talk about the, the cycle for the merchandise. Remember, we had different cycle at the beginning of the year. Now, the, our circle uh, cycle, sorry, is is you is easier probably. You're purchasing goods, you're selling the goods, and either you're getting cash, or you're going to be promised to be getting cash later on, and then you're going to be uh, paying expenses, and the remaining amount is your profit. Okay. So that is also done all of it in school. Now, we're going to be adding one more thing to our uh, accounts. Uh, remember, in uh, term one, we had uh, five numbers, which is they go from 100 to 500. Now we made it one from 100 to 600. The only thing we added is here uh, the cost of merchandise. Now, the revenue is still a 400, and the expense went down to 600. Uh, the place of expense remember expense used to be 500 now 600 now we took the cost of expense or cost of merchandise sorry so we don't want to show it as an expense we made it as it's still a cost it still need to be subtracted from our income but we're going to call it with a specific name so cost of merchandise so how much we bought how much did it cost us to pay for transportation and did we get a discount on it and also, did we retain some of the items and allowance? So the only thing new, guys, for you is going to be the cost of merchandise, okay? So the cost of merchandise, it's interesting. You'll, you'll see it. But everything else, you already know. You know, your cap, the capital, you know about it. Uh, the revenue, the, all those things, you all know about it. So nothing new uh, except some new ideas here. It's going to be, we're, we're going to be talking about also uh, subsidiary accounts uh, and things like that. All right, guys? So 14.2, uh, uh, analyzing the sales transaction. And uh, what else? And also, we're going to be analyzing the cash transaction. And this is all done, like I said, in class. Uh, nothing to worry about. It's an interesting chapter. And you're going to enjoy it. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.